He carried his brother's dead body to save it from wild animals. Suddenly, he saw a crow burying the body of another in the ground. Five verses of the Quran are dedicated to the story of Cain and Abel, the sons of Adam and Eve. Of his two sons, Cain was the eldest, but not the fittest, to follow in the footsteps of his father. Thus, Abel was chosen to lead the path after Adam. Cain grew jealous of Abel. He did not believe it was fair for his younger brother to have won the affection of his father and the satisfaction of God. Thus, a test was devised to allow each participant to evaluate his readiness for the mission. Each of the two brothers was to choose a portion of their belongings to sacrifice for God's satisfaction. Abel chose the finest of his flock and Cain the least fruitful of his farmland. Abel's sacrifice was accepted as he brought before God the best of his belongings while Cain's was not. But Cain was not to give up on his greed. He wanted the position intended for Abel and he would reach for it however he could. He thus decided to kill his brother. Once Abel realized his brother's evil plan, he told Cain that he would not be the one to kill and so Abel fell victim to Cain's greed. Once Cain killed Abel, he did not know what to do with his brother's slain body, and that was when he noticed a crow burying the body of another in the ground. So Cain did the same with Abel's body. Quran concludes the story with the divine rule that to kill a person without them having committed murder and corruption is equal to killing all people. And to save one is equal to saving them all.